Hey guys, it's Xavier from Kingship Digital and today we're going to be demonstrating a web analytics setup as well as understanding dynamic UTM tags. So let's get started. So from our social core desktop, we would simply select under settings. We would scroll down to the bottom right and select under web analytics. And from here, we would simply move to the top right of the screen and click under add analytics profile. So just before we jump into an example of creating a web analytics profile, what exactly are web analytics used for? So web analytics are used for configuring parameters to add a link in posts for tracking purposes and only applies to posts published from within Sprinkler. So for this particular example, we'll create a name for our profile as so. Under module type, we would select publishing. And under analytics profile type, we would simply select from the drop down bar and we can either create custom or from the three existing profile types that are already here. So for this demonstration, we'll go with Google Analytics and scroll down to set our parameters and variables. So depending on how we want to track, we write in a UTM parameter as so, and then we would simply select from the variable drop-down box and select the variable that applies. So in this instance, we would put campaign, Google Analytics and the other existing profiles we looked at above will have their own preset parameters and variables as you can see and then if you want to make your own custom ones you can custom fill. So basically the UTM parameters are simply tags you add to a URL. When your link is clicked the tags are sent back to Google Analytics and tracked allowing you to identify the best ways to drive more visitors to your website. So after this we simply save and we can see our newly created analytics profile type here. So to apply it to a domain, we simply go to edit domain analytics, add another parameter, and custom fill the domain that you want your newly created profile to be seen in, making sure that we both start and end the domain with the star symbol. Under analytics profile, we would simply select the profile that we just created, and then save. So the benefits of Web Analytics is that it can be applied to links containing a specific domain. Anytime the specific domain is posted through Sprinkler and clicked on by a user, your analytics platform will collect and measure all the variable tags you have assigned to a Web Analytics profile. So that's it for now. Of course, if you'd like to learn anything more about this particular feature or any other features on the platform, feel free to get in touch with us here at Kingship Digital by following the link below to our website. Also, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Cheers.